usually I just, uh, what was I gonna say? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I have a grocery haul for you guys. So I ran to Meyer. This is a late night grocery haul actually. Usually I do these in the morning or midday and it is now 10 p.m. actually. So it is pre-order week and this was the only time that I had to run out and get groceries. It worked out well that we went to Meyer and it was not busy at all and yeah we got everything we needed. So I'm gonna go through everything really quickly. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm here with Adam as well and yeah let's go ahead and go through what we got. So for this video I am going to be putting the nutrition labels on the screen. I got a lot of feedback with the grocery haul where I took you guys with me to the store and a lot of you said that you really liked when I put the labels on the screen. So I'm going to do that for most of the items today and hopefully that is helpful. I'm still going to read through the macros and stuff like that like I usually do but I will also pop them on the screen. So anyway starting with produce we'll quickly run through this because it's pretty much all the same as always but I got bananas for protein shakes for Adam to bring to work. These are zero points. I got some red onions just for different recipes. I'm going to be making a veggie mix tomorrow so I needed an onion, some bell peppers which I like when they have the variety pack like this so these actually look really good today too. I'm just going to use all three of these for the veggie mix that I make tomorrow. Those are zero points. I got some zucchini for the veggie mix so these are kind of small. I'll probably use two of them in it but that's the reason that I got all of those. Then I was excited to see this because I mention this sometimes but I usually buy the bags of the mini cucumbers like this and I never get through them fast enough. There's always like at least one of them that molds and I get so frustrated. So a four pack like this is perfect for me. This is much more realistic with the other produce that I'll be able to actually get through this. So I got some mini cucumbers that I like to use in different bowls whether it's like a rice bowl or even like a couscous bowl. Sometimes I use it with dips or tuna. I got some blueberries for yogurt. So just a zero point fruit that I put on my yogurt. I like to add granola and strawberries sometimes, but I still have some strawberries in the fridge, so I didn't need to get any more of those. Then I got some green grapes. So this is another thing that we didn't used to buy at all, and now we buy every time we go to the store because Adam got us started on them, I guess. But he used to get cuties all the time, switched over to grapes. They're just an easy snack that he can bring to work. They're so good. I forget how much I love grapes. They're always so refreshing, especially Especially when I finish a meal and I want something sweet, these are like candy to me. I a lot of times just portion a bowl out, clean them off, and then that'll be my side with like a sandwich and chips or something. So grapes are a really good option for zero points and they always satisfy my sweet tooth, especially in the middle of the day. I needed some more honey crisp apples, so I eat a honey crisp apple every day after dinner. Again, that's zero points and it's just become a routine thing for me to have an apple after dinner and honey crisp is my favorite. Then we haven't had asparagus in a while, so I just got this little thing of asparagus. I'll probably just put it on a tray in the oven with a little bit of olive oil spray, some seasoning, and some Parmesan cheese and that'll be a good vegetable side for one of our dinners whether it's like pasta or burgers or something. So that's pretty much it for the produce that I got. I grabbed some eggs because we just always need eggs. We use these mostly for breakfast whether it's like a breakfast bowl, breakfast burrito or sometimes I just have scrambled eggs and toast for breakfast. Then I got some 99% lean ground turkey. I got two pounds of it. This is zero points on WW and actually it's what we had for dinner tonight too. I am still so full from dinner. It's crazy how filling the 99% lean and just any of the ground turkeys really are. It's 120 calories for four ounces, one gram of fat, and it's got 28 grams of protein. So for that serving, which we actually tonight had one and a half servings, so like I said, it was even more filling. But with a little bit of seasoning, some egg and panko, you can really flavor this up and make it really good and it's a good zero point option. Then these are my all time favorite chicken sausages. The brand is Belinsky's. Usually I can only find these at Meyer and Fresh Time, but they are only one point for the link, which if you scan them, it pops up as two points. But if you type in the nutrition, it is actually one point per link. If you have two links, it goes up to three points. So there are some times in my breakfast, I actually have two links because it's more filling and three points isn't bad for two sausages. One link is 80 calories, two and a half grams of fat. It's got two carbs, one gram of fiber and 12 grams of protein. This is one of my favorite things to add to eggs or even when we're doing a pizza bake. Usually with a pizza bake, because the dough is nine points that I use and then I have to use cheese. I try to keep the other toppings low point. So I can add an entire chicken sausage for one point. It adds more protein and then it makes the pizza even more filling. Then I got center cut bacon, which I was excited to see the bigger pack like this because I just love being able to prep a good amount of it 
because the three of us all eat it. So I pretty much just bake it all at once and then keep it in a black container in the fridge. And then I can grab one to two pieces and add it to recipes as I go, which is really nice because it adds good flavor, especially in the morning when I'm making a quick like egg scramble or something, I could just grab two pieces out and toss them in and they're already cooked and everything. So two slices is two points. It's 60 calories, four and a half grams of fat and five grams of protein. And I just prefer to get the center cut because it is lower in points and it just works well. And I'm glad they had the big pack. Then these potatoes, I actually got two bags of because both Adam and I have been using them and actually Trevor has been too because they're so good. It's so easy to just cook them up on the stove. They do take a little bit to get them nice and crispy, but a lot of times I don't even get them crispy. I just make like an egg scramble with them. So they are the Simply Potatoes Shredded Hash Browns. For the serving of two third cup, it is two points on WW. It's 70 calories, 15 carbs, two grams of fiber and two grams of protein. And what I do is I pretty much just use a little bit of nonstick spray. I toss the potatoes in. I add some veggies, some type of protein, and then some eggs and scramble it all together. And that is my breakfast. It's super easy that even Adam makes it all the time now. That's why I got two bags of this because he can just make it nice and easy. That wasn't an insult. That was a compliment. Oh, thank you. But he makes it for himself now. And yeah, so we've been using that a lot. That's just become like one of my go-to meals lately. Sometimes I get in like a routine of having the same things over and over again. And those breakfast scrambles are my favorite right now. Then for those and for different things like breakfast burritos and stuff, I got this Jimmy Dean turkey crumble bag. So it is four points for the serving of a half cup, but usually when I use this, I just do a quarter cup for two points. For the half cup serving though, it's 120 calories, eight grams of fat, three carbs, two grams of sugar, and nine grams of protein. And the only thing I've ever really used this for is eggs and also pizza bakes. It's another easy one that I can just do like one or two points worth and toss them on a pizza. But as I'm looking at this, they have a sausage party dip on here and I might have to try that because that sounds really good. So anyway, there's a lot you can do with this, but it is a good higher protein option. And like I said, you could have a smaller serving to add to a breakfast and stuff like that. And it's really good. Then I got some imitation crab like always. This is just the shred style. It's the Meyer brand. It's two points for the serving of a half cup, 80 calories. It's got 14 carbs, four grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. But then I've never seen this before. So this is their lobster deluxe imitation lobster meat. So I'm excited to try this. I don't know if it'll taste really similar to the crab or what it'll be like, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. And this is the same as the crab. It's two points for the half cup serving, 80 calories, 11 carbs, three grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. So pretty comparable, but actually this is a little bit better because it's a little higher in protein and it's got a gram less of sugar. But I don't know, I'm curious to see how this will be. I was thinking about doing some type of like lobster roll or something or like seafood salad, but then also lobster mac and cheese sounds good, but I feel like I should get better lobster for that. I don't know. So I don't know what I'll do with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and make something with that. We needed some cheese. So I like the Meyer brand reduced fat shredded cheeses. This is their sharp cheddar. It's three points for the serving of a quarter cup or an ounce. It's 90 calories for that, six grams of fat, one carb, and eight grams of protein. And I pretty much use this for everything. I use it for pasta, for eggs, for pizzas, for sandwiches, tuna melts, and even like mac and cheese and stuff. So I needed more of this. Then I also got this Meyer brand reduced fat sliced cheese, and this is Colby Jack. This is two points per slice. It's 60 calories, four grams of fat, and five grams of protein. And this I'll use for breakfast sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, or lunch meat sandwiches, um, burgers, anything that we use sliced cheese for. So it's nice that it's two points and it's just a Meyer brand. Then I got some laughing cows. Another thing, see, I just like go through phases with certain things. Like right now I'm going through that breakfast scramble bowl phase, but also laughing cow. I have been craving laughing cow and I've been using it in a bunch of different recipes and just remembering how good it is. So I got a few flavors this time. I really like the light laughing cow. This is just the plain flavor and it is one point for the wedge. It's 25 calories, one and a half grams of fat, one carb, one gram of sugar and two grams of protein. And actually the other two flavors that I got are both the exact same for all the macros, 25 calories, two grams of protein. And these are both a point a wedge, but I got the garlic and herb. I don't remember if we've even had this one, honestly. If we have, it's been like years. So I'm gonna try this again and see what I can use it for. But then I also got my favorite, which is the spicy pepper jack, so. I got this as well. It's really good for wraps, mac and cheese, pasta, even just using it as like a cream cheese substitute. So I stocked up on some Laughing Cow. Then Adam needed some mustard for sandwiches. This is the Arizona Heat Coops Mustard. And it's zero points for the serving. A teaspoon is 10 calories. 
And did this have a cake? It has a little cake to it, but it's not too spicy, but it has really, really good flavor. I'd like it on just regular lunch meat sandwiches. I also like to add it to my burgers. So I'm glad to have this again. Then I just got some taco seasoning. So I just always need more taco seasoning. I buy the same exact kind every time. And it's just the Taco Bell mild seasoning. This is what I use with ground chicken, ground turkey or shredded chicken. And I just use the packet and some water. Okay, so then I got some chili seasoning. I just buy the chili packets. If they have the less sodium, I get those but I use these for when I make a big batch of chili. Then we haven't had this in a while. I think we've actually only had it like one or two times, but I figured I could use it for a dinner one night. It is the Palmini mashed potato, but not potatoes. It's mashed hearts of palm. It is zero points for the whole thing. It's sugar-free, gluten-free, and for the serving of a third of the container, it's 30 calories, four carbs, two grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. Pretty much all it is is hearts of palm and... I don't know, I might even try this recipe on the back where it says it's the mash, some Greek yogurt, olive oil, garlic, and salt and pepper. But I was thinking of doing some type of like loaded mashed potatoes with it. Then I got some black beans. So these are zero points. I just grabbed the low sodium if I can find them, but these are good for chili. They're good for if I make any type of like Spanish rice or Mexican style veggie mix. So that's why I grabbed those. They're definitely filling. I grabbed some panko breadcrumbs. I just use these whenever I make burgers or meatballs or anything like that. I also use them to bread different things, whether it's like veggies. So sometimes I'll do like panko crusted zucchini or something. And then I use them for chicken. Adam needed more breakfast sandwiches. So I grabbed him a box of these Jimmy Dean delights. These are the English muffins with turkey sausage and egg whites. One sandwich is eight points on WW. It's 270 calories, eight grams of fat, 31 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 18 grams of protein. And these are just such a convenient thing for him to pack for work. He's been taking them for years. Then we got some Ezekiel sesame bread. This is our favorite flavor of the different Ezekiel breads. So for this, it is two points for one slice. And if you have two slices, it's three points. One slice is 80 calories, one gram of fat, 15 carbs, three grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. My favorite thing about this bread is just the sesame seeds on the side. I think it adds such good flavor. And especially when I toast it up and it gets crunchy, it's really good. I like to use this for breakfast sandwiches or tuna sandwiches, or sometimes just toast with my breakfast. Then I got some Greek yogurt. So I still have some vanilla Greek yogurt in the fridge, but I wanted to grab some flavors. And I found this two pack that they have two caramel apple pie, which is one of my favorite flavors. And then they also have two pumpkin pie, which I can't remember if I've tried the pumpkin pie before, but I'm going to now. I know I really like the apple pie. For each one, it's 80 calories. It's nine carbs, eight grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein for both of them. They're both gluten-free. And with these, usually I just have them plain. I'll usually have them midday. With the vanilla, usually I have it at night for dessert with some like berries and granola, but Sometimes I'll add granola to these. It just depends how I'm feeling. So sometimes it's nice to have these as a quick midday snack option. Then I grabbed this. This usually I can only find at Meyer, but it's the La Terra Fina spinach and Parmesan Greek yogurt dip. So because it's Greek yogurt, it's a little bit lower in points. It's another gluten-free option. For the serving of two tablespoons, it's three points on WW. It's 50 calories, four grams of fat, two carbs, one gram of sugar, and three grams of protein. And usually what I use this for is pizza bakes. That is our all-time favorite thing to use it for. So I'll do a portion of two ingredient dough. I'll use this as the sauce, and then I'll cut up like a chicken sausage, add some veggie mix or mushrooms, and then bake it. And sometimes I'll add a little cheese on top, and it is so good. It's so flavorful. Otherwise, we like to use it for dip with chips or as like a little snack option. Sometimes we'll use it on wraps or in pasta, but mostly for pizza. I needed more tuna, which is just one of my favorite zero point options that's higher in protein. It's so easy to just throw a can together with some light mayo or some Greek yogurt, some seasoning, and then I can just toss it on bread and have a sandwich or have it with some crackers or something. So I like to get the chunk light in water. It's 90 calories for a can, a half gram of fat, and 20 grams of protein. It's zero points. I got some croutons. So these Cushy croutons are our favorite. I really like this Mambo Italiano flavor. And I've been making a lot of soup lately, so I needed some croutons to top it with. The past two soups we've had, I've wanted croutons and we didn't have any, so I'm glad to have these. They are one point for the serving of two tablespoons. It's 30 calories, one gram of fat, four carbs, and one gram of protein. So they have a few other flavors. These are sourdough bread, which is what I really like about them. I think they taste really good. They're seasoned perfectly. They have a little bit of saltiness to them, and yeah, I'm excited to have these for mostly soup. 
Okay, I went a little crazy with the pasta just because we've been eating a lot of pasta lately. So I got some Barilla Protein Plus. I'm not kidding when I say this is our favorite now for pasta. I got some elbows, some penne, and some rotini. And all of these are four points for the serving of two ounces. Usually when I make us a full meal that's like a pasta though, I use three ounces for six points. But for the two ounce serving, it's 190 calories, one gram of fat, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. And this to me just tastes the most similar to just regular pasta, but it's a higher protein option. And I feel like compared to like bonds and stuff, we just actually prefer this one. We still buy a few other options. Usually Meyer has the carbonata pasta, but they didn't this time. So usually I would get it, but that's why I stocked up extra on the Barilla. I did find this, which I'm excited about. We used to buy it all the time from Aldi. I've never seen this brand, but we used to buy edamame spaghetti all the time. And it was one of our favorites. So I was excited to see this again. The brand for this one is the only bean. And one thing that's really, really nice about this type of pasta is that it is so high in protein. So for the serving of two ounces, it's only three points on WW. So when I make this, Adam and I will split the box. So if you have four ounces, which is half the box of this, it's only five points on WW. It actually rounds down to have two servings. So that's probably what we will do. But for the two ounce serving, it's three and a half grams of fat, 190 calories, 20 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, and 25 grams of protein. So when Adam and I have this and we split the box, that'll be 50 grams of protein just with the pasta alone. That doesn't include anything else that we add to it. So very high in protein. I think that the flavor is usually really good. I don't know, like I said, I haven't tried this brand, so I'm excited to try it, but yeah, I was happy to see this. We needed some more cashew milk, which is something that we buy pretty much every time now. It's a good option for protein shakes. That's mostly what we use it for. Also, if I ever make any like cheese sauce or anything like that, that I need it for different recipes. It's one point for the cup serving, which I don't always use that much, but 25 calories for that, two grams of fat, one carb and one gram of protein. Then Adam needed some more coffee. So this is just the cold brew he likes. He just gets the unsweet black because it's zero points. He can add his own skinny syrup, cashew milk, creamer, whatever he wants to add, but it's 15 calories and three carbs for a 12 ounce serving. Okay, then the last few things I got, these I thought were lower in points. I didn't scan them at the store, but they are five points for the serving, which honestly isn't bad, especially if I'm making a snack plate and have a full serving of these with some tuna and some cucumber and grapes or something. It's very filling and it still would be low point. But for the serving of 17 pieces, it is five points. These are the good thins and the flavor I got is Parmesan garlic. This is one of my favorite ones that they have. They have a few others that I like, but I just know I really like this one, especially with tuna. So for that serving of 17 pieces, it is five points, 130 calories, three grams of fat. It's 22 carbs, two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. Then we haven't gotten these in a really long time, specifically this flavor. And this is one of my favorite flavors that they have. These are popcorners and the flavor I got is white cheddar. I was debating between the cinnamon and the white cheddar, but I decided to do this. I've just been more leaning towards salty snacks lately. So that's why I grabbed these. For 16 crisps, it's 140 calories, six grams of fat, 19 carbs, two grams of sugar, two grams of protein. And that serving is four points on WW. So these are something that sometimes I add to snack mixes with a little bit of like air popped popcorn and some other things, or I'll just have a serving of them with a sandwich or something. I got more of the fiber one brownies. These are the chocolate chip cookie ones. They're two points for one, 70 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 17 carbs, six grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And these are something that I like to have before the gym. They're a quick and easy snack that isn't too much, but it still gets something in my stomach. So those are one of my favorite flavors. Although I've been on more of a kick with the cinnamon ones lately, I still really like the chocolate chip. Then I got some blue raspberry raisins. These are one of my favorite sweet snacks at night, especially when I'm craving candy. It's two points for the pack of one of these and they taste so much like blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers, but they're raisins. They're 60 calories for one pouch, 15 carbs and 13 grams of sugar. Okay, then the last thing I got, I actually got two bags, which these are pricey, but this is something that I can justify buying now. I really, really love these. It's like $9 for the bag of four of them, but they are very high in protein. They taste really good and they keep me full for a long time. So these are the Quest protein chips. This is the loaded taco flavor. So good. It tastes just like Taco Bell. For the bag, it's three points on WW, 140 calories, five grams of fat, 
five carbs, one gram of fiber, and 19 grams of protein. So that is it for my haul today. I hope you guys found this helpful. Pretty much a lot of the basic stuff, but I grabbed some things that I haven't had in a while and a lot of the things that I've just been like going through phases with. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.